Hello students. Hello Khatija. Hello sir. Nice to see you again. Thank you sir. Today we are going to do an experiment which is the very opposite of exothermic reaction. What would that be? Endothermic reaction. Exactly right. Endothermic is the opposite of exothermic. Yes, endothermic means the reaction will turn cold. That means the materials or the chemicals that we are going to use will produce a coldness or a coolness. So, to do this experiment, we have the following equipment as well as chemicals. Yes. Shall we? Of course, sir. Now, this is a wash bottle. As all of you know, it contains water. In this beaker, I have a chemical called ammonium thiocyanate. In this beaker, I have a chemical called barium hydroxide octahydrate. A very big name. Huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> but it's quite a useful chemical for us. Right? Then we have a very sensitive temperature probe. It yes. is a very sophisticated one. Yes, sir. But students, don't worry. If you don't have this, you can always make use of this thermometer. Now, I want you to do one thing. First, we'll pour a little water on top of this. Right? Yes, sir. Now, you will take this beaker and pour it into that beaker. Yes, sir. Place that beaker on top of this wooden, wooden block and mix it with the glass rod and, play, and dip the thermometer probe inside so that we will be recording the temperature. Okay, sir. Please go ahead. So students, before doing, I'll on this probe. Switch on the probe. Yeah. It is so showing. So initial temperature is 20 degrees centigrade. Yes. That's right. So I'm going to take ammonium thiocyanate into this. Barium hydroxide. You can take, you take it a little outside first. Okay, ah, now you add. Now you add. Mix it up nicely. Students, observe that I haven't taken any water over here. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Come on. It is a very important point that she has mentioned. Students, you have to note one very important point, and that is, we have not taken any water, we have taken two solids. The moment we have added one to the other, two things have happened. One is, it has become liquid, Yes, sir. it has become very cold, as you can see, and ammonia gas is being liberated. How do we know ammonia gas is being liberated? We will test it with a... Litmus paper. Red litmus paper. So what should it turn to? Blue. That's right. Now let me see. Hmm? Yes sir, it's turning to blue. The temperature was 20 degrees centigrade before. Now it turns to minus 23 degrees centigrade. It has gone to minus 23 degrees centigrade. Below so, the freezing point. So that is below the freezing point of water. So let us see what happens and here you can see the blue color of the litmus. Can you see students that the wooden block on which we had put a few drops of water is now sticking to the beaker. Meaning that the water over there has turned into ice. Ice, yes. Isn't this a wonderful reaction? So cold that the temperature has gone to minus 23 degrees centigrade. Yes. If you calculate the difference in the temperatures before and after the reaction, it is 43 degrees. Now how do we get that? It was 20 degrees in the beginning. Yes, sir. Now it is minus 23. Yeah. So 20 minus 23 becomes 43. So there is a difference of 43 degrees in this. Now let me put this and we will be able to follow 
the temperature here also and it is just running down it is come to also minus 10 yes sir so this is what is called an endothermic reaction this is quite fascinating course, isn't it sir. and really very very cold so we have a reaction in which ammonia is being produced yes sir we have a reaction in which the temperature has gone down yes sir. and this is also a reaction in which there is a basic chemical reaction called double displacement double displacement reaction so students you understand one simple experiment can teach you so much of chemistry i hope you enjoyed this because this is very very fascinating did you like it khatija of course sir i liked it very good why don't we dip the probe inside once more and see what is the temperature now the initial temperature is 11 degree centigrade yes now the temperature is going down it's still below zero of course sir. so yes. that means that water is still in ice form right yes and quite cold also so in chemistry we make use of all our senses you can see the color changes you can feel the temperature changes yes sir. you can uh, hear the sounds and you can also taste but never advise you to taste any chemicals except sugar and salt these are the only two chemicals you are permitted to taste so students i hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much and thank you again khatija for thank your you, wonderful help